It always happens. I'm swamped with work. I spend more time away than I spend in the office, and things just slip through the cracks. Well, one of those things was an anniversary gift for my wife, Laura, last year. So that's why I've decided to get her something big this year. Well, actually, it's kind of small, but uh, it'll be a big help with her workload. A Panasonic laptop word processor, like the one you have. Hey, when it's just you and your wife running the business, what could be more practical, right? Mom! Oh, uh, well, just so she doesn't find it before tomorrow. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Don't tell me you're late for your plane. Ah, uh, yeah, as usual. <laughs> oh, and honey, oh, for your meeting. Thanks. I'm out of here. I'll see you tomorrow morning. All right. Good luck. Thanks. He is always in a rush, which is why I fully expect him to forget our anniversary tomorrow. So I have decided to surprise him with something he's going to wish he'd thought of. A Panasonic laptop word processor. It's perfect for someone who never quite seems to have enough time for anything. I better take this with me to the construction site, just in case uh, he gets back to the office before I do. You've reached the offices of Alan and Alan. We won't be back till tomorrow, so leave us a message after the beep. with me, no sense in letting it just sit there. <laughs> oh, uh, the small circle at the bottom of your TV screen, that's an indexing mark. It starts over in each section, so by fast-forwarding or rewinding, you can easily locate any section you want to review. Check your cassette box for the color key. Now, you can power your Panasonic laptop with the AC adapter that comes with it. Or, with the optional battery pack, which has a charge that's good for about four hours. That means Lara's gonna be able to use the laptop anywhere, in a field office or at the top of a building. But for now, I'm gonna use it right here to get a jump on some work. And in the process, I'll show you some of its more useful features. As soon as you power up, the main menu appears on the screen. The main menu is the starting point for all the laptop's main functions. Now, even before you do anything, you're going to notice the laptop special backlit LCD display. Watch how I can, uh, how Laura can adjust the contrast here and the brightness here so that the screen is easy to read wherever I am, uh, wherever she is. You can also tilt the screen to make it just right for your lighting conditions. Now back to the main menu. All you have to do in most cases is highlight the function you want, press return, and follow the prompts that appear next. One of the advantages of owning a Panasonic laptop word processor is that it comes with its own tutorial disk, so Lara can learn any of the functions without relying on my expertise. To use the tutorial disk, just put it in the disk drive, and with the arrow keys, cursor down to Utility and Tutorial on the main menu. Press return, and that brings you to the next menu. Select Tutorial. From there, the laptop tells you what to do. Another feature that makes the Panasonic laptop so convenient is that it uses standard three and a half inch micro floppy disks. You can buy them at any store that sells computer supplies. Oh, one last thing before we get started. The green Help button on the right side of the keyboard will give you on-screen help with what keys to use for various functions. Now to business. If you're starting out with a new blank disk, you've got to format the disk before word processing. Out with the old, and in with the new. Simply put it in the disk drive. Once again, get into your utility and tutorial menu. But this time, choose the format disk option. A precaution. Your laptop warns you that formatting will delete any files currently on that disk. If you want to go ahead with formatting, simply press return 
one more time. Now that I have a formatted disk, I can get right into creating a document. I have the speech coming up on energy conservation, and believe me, writing speeches is the last thing I have time for. Well, that's another reason I brought this along. You never have to let precious time go to waste. Now to start a new document, go back to the main menu, select Create Text, and press Return. You're ready to go. Take a look at the two code keys at the bottom left of the keyboard. The blue code key activates the functions written in blue, and the white code key works with functions written in white. It's that simple. Let me show you. If you want to create new margin settings, first press the code 1 key. That's the blue code key. Plus the L key. It says change format on the key. You'll see this prompt. Change margin format YZO. That means you can store two margin formats, Y and Z, in addition to the original format you're working with. I'm going to press O for original format. Now simply move your cursor along the ruler line to the margin or tab positions you want to store. Then press code 2 plus 4 to store your left margin. Code 2 plus 5 to store your right margin. Or code 2 plus the 6 key to set your tab stops. Then press return. Other basic word processing functions that you'll use all the time like centering, bolding, or underlining are done the same way. To make it easy, the word center is written on the C key, bold on the B key, and an underline symbol on the U key. Here, look. Pressing the blue code key plus C centers whatever you type next. To release centering, just press return. Now I think I'll underline the next line. Using the blue code key with the U key turns underlining on. Use the same keystrokes to turn underlining off. Now let's say I want to bold the date. It's code 1 plus B. And the same keys to turn bolding off. Oh, excuse me. Hello? Oh, hi, Laura. Huh? Oh, no, everything's fine. No, flight was great. Great, yeah. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm just lying here. Yeah, reading. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I love you too, honey. Yeah. See you tomorrow morning. Bye, sweetheart. <laughs> Yo, now where was I? Uh, running our own business means that we have to do everything ourselves, including most of the typing and proofing. And that is why Laura is going to flip over the Panasonic laptop. It has its own spell checker and thesaurus built right in. The AccuSpell Plus Spell Verifier is located at the top right of your keyboard. To turn it on, press the Code 2 key plus the forward button where it says on off. And when you type in a misspelled word, your laptop will let you know by that beep. It also flashes the misspelled word just so you know for sure. Now by pressing code 2 plus the backspace key, you'll get a list of alternate words. Highlight the correct replacement word and press return. That's all there is to it. AccuSpell Plus will also beep if it doesn't recognize a word, such as the name of our company. But watch this. You can add the word to your laptop's dictionary so that it recognizes it next time. If I press Code 2 plus the Add key, the laptop tells me the word has been added to its dictionary. Now when I type the company's name, the laptop's user dictionary recognizes it as a word, and next time it'll let me know if I misspell it. <laughs> Lars always telling me how I could have used a better word whenever I send a letter out. So the Panasonic thesaurus feature is perfect for someone like me, if my wife will ever let me use it. Say I want a more concise word for demonstrated. Right after typing the word, I press code 1 plus the 0 key. It says thesaurus above the key. The laptop instantly gives me a list of alternative words. 
Just highlight the one you want and press return. Oh, you know, I almost forgot I was going to try and get some Tennyson before my meeting, so I better store this document to a disk, and that way I can work on it again later. First, go back to the main menu by pressing the Menu button. Oh, don't worry, your document is being held in temporary memory. Cursor down to number four, the Store Text File to Disk option. Press Return, and the laptop prompts you for a file name. We'll call this one Speech. Press Return, and that's it. You know, the more I use the Panasonic laptop word processor, the more I know Laura's going to love it, no matter where she is. Okay, I have to admit it, I had some work to do. And I figured, why not? Even if it is just for today. Well, don't look at me that way. You would have done the same thing. After all, the Panasonic laptop does make writing these work orders a breeze. They change by the minute, but rewriting is no problem with the laptop's block editing features. The block feature lets you mark a block of text and move it around, copy it somewhere else in your document, or delete it. First, press the blue code key plus the two, three, or four key, depending on whether you're moving, copying, or deleting a portion of text. Put your cursor on the first character of the block you want to mark, and press return. Then you move the cursor to the end of the block to be marked, and press return again. If you've chosen to move or copy the block, just continue following the prompts. Move the cursor to where you want the text moved or copied. And press return. Now, if I want to delete this first line, I press code 1 plus 4, then mark the block the same way. Now, when I press return the second time, the text disappears. There are other features on the KXWL50 that are going to make letter writing something Tom might actually enjoy doing, like the search feature, which lets you quickly advance to a specific word or group of words in your text. Make sure you're at the top of your document. Then press the blue code key and the S key. You'll notice it says search. Your laptop prompts you for the word you want to find. Partition. Like it says, press return. The cursor finds the word instantly. Now, here's where search and replace really delivers. Everywhere I've written the word partition on my work order, I want to substitute the word wall. Watch how the laptop makes changes automatically. Be sure you start with the cursor at the top of your document, because your laptop will only search for words below the cursor. Press code 1 plus the X key, which also says replace. The laptop prompts you for the word you want to replace. P-A-R-T-I-T-I-O-N. Press return. Now, it prompts you for the word you want substituted. Wall. Press return again, and you'll see it gives you three options. You can replace only that word, skip to the next occurrence of the word, or by pressing G, the laptop will do a global replace, which means it will insert the new word every place the old one exists. You really don't have to memorize anything because the instructions on your screen will tell you what to do next. Hey, it's no accident I got a Panasonic for my husband. Beside the fact, he'll be able to take it anywhere he's working. Even if it's outside. The adjustable backlit LCD makes the screen easy to read, even in sunlight. The Panasonic laptop word processor has other features you won't find on some other word processors, like autosave. Autosave is great if you have trouble remembering things, like Tom does, as in anniversaries. Autosave will automatically save your document to disk every 2,000 keystrokes. 
it protects your document if you accidentally lose power. To use autosave, first make sure you've inserted a formatted micro floppy disk. Then turn autosave on by pressing code 1 plus the equal sign key. You'll see autosave written above the key. The laptop asks you to name your file. Let's name it work order. Now press return. You can retrieve it later under that name. The Panasonic laptop even shows you how your full page layout will appear. Just press code 1 with the margin release key, where it says layout. You know, maybe I should have given this to Tom earlier. He probably could have used it today to start his speech. Don't look at me like that. It fits so easily in my bag, and when they told me I'd have to wait here a few minutes, I figured, why waste the time? Yeah. Well, before I get back into the speech, I want to show you a couple of other features that make the Panasonic laptop a real time saver. Now, you'll see that one of the choices on the main menu is address list. The address list feature will let you store up to 999 names, each one with an address, phone number, and a memo. Simply get into the address list menu, Select Create Record, and you're ready to enter your information. The instruction manual will tell you how you can update address records, sort them alphabetically, any number of things that are going to make Lara's address book practically obsolete. And with the Mail Merge feature, you'll be able to write just one letter for an unlimited number of people the laptop automatically merges the form letter with the information that's different for each letter. Oh, that'll be perfect when we send out our brochures. And if Laura sees fit to let me use this, I'd even volunteer to do the mailing list. You can read about mail merge in your instruction manual. One last thing I wanted to get in. You probably noticed something that came with your laptop. Its own spreadsheet software. Spreadsheet will do everything from keeping track of expenses and adding numbers to calculating the future value of an investment. And what's great about Spreadsheet is you can print it out on just about any wide carriage dot matrix printer. Spreadsheet is explained step by step in your instruction manual. It's another feature that'll save you lots of time so you can do other things, like uh, play tennis. Well, back to my speech. Since I saved it earlier to this disk, I simply put the disk back in and cursor down to number three on the main menu. Load text file from disk. Press return, and the display lists the files on the disk. You can either highlight the file name you want retrieved, in this case, I've only saved one, or type the file name at the prompt. Press return, and you're ready to go again. Ah, my court's ready. Wouldn't you know it? There's never quite enough time for anything, huh? Well, I can't wait till tomorrow. Lars probably expecting flowers and aerobics video. <laughs> Actually, she's probably expecting me to forget. Oh, I couldn't resist the icing on the cake. Panasonic Daisy Wheel printer. Although the laptop can plug into almost any dot matrix printer on the market. Oh, and here's another reason I decided on the Panasonic laptop for Tom. It's upwardly compatible with the Panasonic desktop board processors. You can take the laptop's three and a half inch disc and put it in a desktop model with the same drive, and you're in business. Well, let's see, I should probably hide these things before it gets here.
Uh, what are you doing here? Well, I work here. And, uh, well, what are you doing here? Uh, well, I, uh, I just, uh, what, what's that behind your back? Um, uh, nothing. Well, uh, um, it's, oh, it's your surprise anniversary present. Happy anniversary. <laughs> really? How nice. I, I, <laughs> Happy anniversary, honey. A, a Panasonic laptop word processor. <laughs> I guess great mics think alike, huh? Well, almost. Huh? A Panasonic Daisy Wheel printer. Oh, great. Now I have a business associate that can do everything. Almost everything. Thank you.